Welcome back to Real Talk with Jen. I'm Jen. Good to see you again. Hope you are doing well and your family as well and you are in good spirits. We are chugging along through this year. It is already like mid-March, about to hit April already. Like what is happening? It's, it's all going too fast. I feel like I haven't talked to you all in a while, but really I did upload last week, but it just feels like I haven't because I changed my recording schedule. So it just seems like longer now before I, I record the next video. Anyway, glad to see you all. To anybody that is new to this channel, thank you for joining, welcome. And to anyone that has been consistently watching all my videos, I appreciate y'all so, so much, so, so much. Um, so tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe so we can get these subscriber numbers up. I appreciate you all so much. So today I wanted to talk about like lack of inspiration and just like being in a rut because I feel like I've been kind of a rut, y'all. It's nothing alarming or anything like that, but I just don't feel like doing anything anymore in this like whole quarantine life that we live. I'm hitting like a ceiling or like something is happening. I love doing the videos, but it's hard to get in the mood sometimes do a video because I'm like I might have just finished working it's the weekend I'm tired you know it's always a reason not to do something beyond the videos I'm not even just talking about like YouTube I'm talking about just like literally anything like my hair routine nail routine which I still have not done my nails little things I'm starting to find that I'm losing like my motivation to do them and just like the inspiration and the drive to do things. I don't even know if it's laziness. I'm gonna give myself a little grace. Quarantine like just has sucked me dry at this point. I just don't know what to do. I'm just like out here just existing. Also, please tell me in the comments what you all do, of course, so we can talk about it. I'm open to ideas, but for me, I've been thinking of ways to get back into the groove and what what things can I do to help um, raise my vibration and my energy and my inspiration level and all that good stuff. So here are a few things that I have been doing. They have been working, not every time, not all the time, but they often work and I'm like, let me share with my loves. Even when I was about to do this video, I was kind of struggling like, what would I even talking about? I feel so uninspired lately. And you know, I don't even know what to say. And then I was like, that's literally what I'll talk about because it's the truth. It's not just like a random topic that I like picked out of a hat. It, it literally is just like how the like the season I'm in right now. So one thing I've been doing is just, and this is basic y'all, I listen to music. I remember when I was in high school, when I say all we used to do was listen to music and ride around, we would walk to school, we'd be listening to music, walking through the hallway to our next class, we would literally have our CD players and be listening to music. After school, we'd be listening to music. I went to sleep with music on. I woke up with music on. It was it was no joke. And some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Music was always on. So I've kind of been getting back to that where I'm listening to music during work, which I used to do that anyway in the before times. But you know, when, when everybody's schedule got crazy, I, you know, my routine changed. But I've gotten back to listening to music and not just like any music, like, Music that's gonna be a vibe. Like music that's gonna, you know, make you feel good and excited about like life and just existing. And you know, some songs will bring your mood down. And so I try, I stay away from anything that gets too sleepy or, um, you know, emotional. I try to keep it light and fun and just roll with that and it's been working and I'm glad. Our children love music, especially Ava, she will dance all day long if she could and it's so funny. Another thing I do that I know a lot of y'all do, especially if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, I know you feel this. I don't look on Zillow. I have no shame sitting up here spending my time looking at other people's houses. It's aspirational, it's inspirational. I could sit on Zillow for an hour. Zillow is like TV to me. I would just be on there just looking at houses I can't afford. I'm out here looking at $5 million houses because you never know. I'm out there looking at houses that we actually can afford, which is great also, because if you've seen even one of my videos before, you know that we desperately need a house and we desperately want a house and we are 
We are working on that, manifesting it, praying, saving, trying to get our house uh, for our children and ourselves. It's not just for our children. My realtor will tell you, I'm always like bugging her, sending her like, ooh, what do you think of this? Ooh, what do you think of this? Or like, I'll send her stuff that I know I can afford. What you can't afford in January might be something you can afford in June. So you never know. It lifts my spirits up. It gives me ideas. Um, I share with my sisters. I share with my husband. Anybody that's willing to look at it, I'm sharing a Zillow link with you, okay? And I also look at um, House Hunters. I'm a big House Hunters HGTV fan because I just, in general, think I just love real estate. And I just like to see what's out there because it makes me feel better. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. So that's something that I do all the time and it and I love it. I love it. I also very deliberately look at um, people that I am inspired by and um, like what they're doing, what path they're going down because I think that like sometimes you can see yourself in other people and beyond that, maybe it's not even about seeing yourself as somebody, maybe it's just like, wow, I know I can do this because this person did it. In addition to just the kind of the kind of typical inspirational, aspirational things that you might look at, like um, sermons and, you know, things like that. For sure, I look at that type of content as well. But like, I think it's a matter of just being deliberate about the type of stuff that you consume. So if I know I need a pick me up, I'm not, I'm probably not going to go to the news. I'm going to go look on someone's page that I know is always, um, full of positivity or they're making big moves business wise and in some cases of course people that I see myself in like oh man she she's out here just like me pretty much and she made it why can't I do it you know that that really does help kind of boost my confidence I do that a lot like I very intentionally will consume content that makes me feel good we have a lot of friends that are just like entrepreneurs, just like moving, shaking, do, doing things, creating content, doing commercials, doing movies, um, all types of things, like things that, you know, you look back and you're like, man, I'm so proud of my friend. But that that is energy though, like that gives us energy as well. So always look to those type of people too, like, you know, what, what is this person doing that maybe I can learn something from? It doesn't have to be, you know, an older, wiser, you know, person. It could be somebody younger than you, somebody your age, but they might be on a path that you find interesting and it's worth checking it out. It's worth tapping into whatever they're tapping into so that you can see if maybe that whatever they're doing can also inspire you. I always tell y'all this, but y'all know, I, I, I gotta get fresh air. I've been trying to sit on the balcony more. I've been trying to get that sunlight on my skin. I've been trying to just absorb nature more. And, and look, it don't matter if it's cold where y'all are, y'all, because I told you in LA it is not always warm. As, as a matter of fact, today it is damn near freezing. It, it is cold. I don't care if you have to put on your coat and your hat. Just go stand outside for a moment and just breathe in some fresh air, get some sunlight for five minutes a day or every other day, however it works out. It's still worth that moment to clear your mind. When your mind is cluttered, it is hard for inspiration to find its way into you because you're just, you're all over the place. You can't commit to anything. And that's really, I feel like, where I'm at. I have so many things in my mind that I almost am not committing to one thing to the point that I'm just like, I'm just not gonna do nothing. We're just, I'm just not gonna do nothing, I'm just lay here. And that's kind of what I've been doing. But I just need to unpack what's in my mind one by one. Also knowing that I can't do everything by myself. I can't do everything at one time. And like just being real with myself. If it's just a matter of silencing my mind because this house is usually lit. It's only quiet right now because the children are taking naps. But I've found that I haven't had that a lot lately. Like as the kids are getting older, they're just getting wilder and wilder, y'all. It's hard to find quiet. That escape is not really there for me. And we don't have no locks on these doors, y'all. Like, ain't no locks. Ain't no locks. So you can't, you really would have to like barricade the door 
for the kids to not come in. Also, y'all, get cute. I only get dressed for y'all, for real. I, this is the most I dress up usually because I don't really go anywhere. But it does give me energy when I got my little face done a little bit, some makeup, you know. It does help. It does help kind of give you a little, you know, a little something. It's important that we feel good for ourselves to ourselves too. It's not about everybody else. I am going to start trying to get dressed more, especially during the week. Um, and not look so tattered and raggedy because it's just easy it's just easy to do like I don't I don't really have to see anybody if I'm on a meeting at work I just don't turn my camera on and then that's the end of it so it's not ever really a big deal but sometimes when you like look like a slob you feel like a slob and and that's just the long and short of it I'm literally talking about myself because I be in here wild I think I am going to go and get my hair done and I have an amazing hairstylist that I, she's the only hairstylist I've ever gone to while we've been in LA. And I completely stopped going once all, you know, the world flew up or whatever. I had like just got my hair done. I want to say I was going back for like a refresh and that was when literally everything shut down. It's almost like a year to the day. I've been t trying to do, you know, take care of it myself. And I you know, I've been doing well. For me, I've been doing well. But again, I've been starting to like lack the inspiration to, to do all that stuff. And I just think I'm getting a little bit jaded a little bit. And I want to also like look cute, cute, you know, like professional hairstyle is cute. Not, not, not my version, like a professional. I am so nervous though, because I really, you know, I've really been trying to like stay at home and stay safe and all that so um whenever we do go out into the world and it's like really like a closed situation i do get a little bit of anxiety about it so we'll see how that that turns out i feel like i'm gonna just pop up on screen with some beautiful braids and y'all are uh, are gonna know like she went hopefully the next few weeks i go and get that done and then it'll give me the courage to continue to go and get my hair done again and take care of myself in that way because that was really a treat to myself that um I know all of us a lot of us at least miss when you're feeling uninspired and raggedy and lack of inspiration and motivation like I have I hope that you're able to find um something someone a collection of all of those to lift you back up all those things have been helping me and I want to know what's been helping you if and when you find yourself in a rut because I feel like it cannot just be me so let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching y'all and I will see you in the next video bye